Why, hi there, I'm Ron Zuckett, and this is another Retro Sports Address to the Nation. Actually, I'm getting the new computer set up. Um, reattached the old camera, and I brought back the old mic. I tried another game, but however, I dropped a swear word in the middle of it, and we tried not to do that because I want people of all ages to watch. Um, even though I'm not going to claim that I don't swear an awful lot at times. We just, you know, we treat them like if you were to, to go, whatever it is, if you were to go and watch something on the old NBC Game of the Week or whatever, where there's no swearing, we, we'd be gentlemanly and do that. So, between that and uh, watching it, it was pretty obvious that I don't have the audio mix quite right with a new computer as far as the background sound. And what I'm doing with the with the microphone so I will have to play with it a bit more before I start taping new stuff uh, for your enjoyment um, I'm gonna sneeze hold right on a sec never mind what I've been able to do though I suppose like I've done this with the old computer too is I can uh, streamcast it onto the uh, television set that's next to me so I get a uh, I get a pretty picture of how things look and uh, how things sound. And so for the game audio, I'm, I'm going to figure, I, I did some of the sound for um, the in-house audio for the, the software I use. I use XSplit to record, and it was still too loud for my taste. So I think I have to go through in the game and knock down some of the sound. It was fine when the home team wasn't doing anything, and then when the home team was doing something, it just kind of drowned me out. Um, but I was happy with the with the way that the microphone was. I probably have to get a little bit closer. All right. So um, and let me tell you, this stuff is. I was actually I have a 37 inch that I got for to cover for my my primary job. And uh, let me tell you, Action PC Baseball looks completely awesome in 1080p on a 37 inch screen. It really just shines right through. It's too bad the broadcaster sucks so bad, but you know, you never know. All right, so that's going to be it for, so that will be that for that. Wanted to explain a little bit about what the uh, baseball history project is through day I, I should find out it, if it's Koch or Cook. Anyway, it's Action PC Baseball, so what I've been using from I use for my the replays that you see. Um They've just released the Baseball History Project. If you watch the pilot game that I put up on Friday, which is the day I'm taping this, um, you, you saw that they had all decade teams. So there was every decade from the 1800s. Well, there was a team of 1800s, and then every decade from 1900 to, 19, to 2000. So there are 12 decades represented, and you can kind of change the teams around. Um, some teams are better than others. Obviously, the 70s pitching just looks fantastic. I tried to explain that in the video that you're not going to see. Excuse me. But the computer was taking too long to try it because the files were too big. Um, literally, it, it is every player who has played Major League Baseball. And uh, the decade files and the franchise files. And I believe this, there's one general one. The one general one is just one giant thing of free agents. It's absolutely incredible. My God, the, the projects you can do with that are just absolutely endless. Um, and they've expanded database sizes and how many teams you can do. And so there's a project there somewhere. Um, my thought is, and let me know in the comments below what you want to do or what you would like to see, um, is to do some sort of tournament between the 12 decade teams and try to figure, you know, for the mock championship of which decade is the best in baseball history. I, it won't mean anything because it'll be a short series, but I think it's a good way to work those in. Um, just absolutely fascinating about how they do that. Um, so I don't feel comfortable yet with starting to record uh, 46, the 46 Sox again and the 64 replay. The 64 replay, I believe uh, there's games for another week. I think I recorded the the next week after, so it won't. I think what you see to the first week through the first week in March is stuff I record on the old computer. So I got a couple weeks to figure it out. It won't take that long. Uh, this forty six replay actually did a Boston Braves game because that was short, but um, the it was the Braves of the Giants from the Polo Grounds, 
It was good. I only didn't. I think I only called the Giants the Mets once. That was wonderful. But there's a big but there. The field was just a. It was a horrible picture. It was a black and white picture. Um, the names were hard to read, so I'm not quite sure how good visually it is anyway. And somehow I stopped recording. In the uh, seventh inning, there's two buttons. I have one that starts and st stops its total recording, and one that pauses, which has got me in trouble with the football videos because you know, I have to respond to whatever work needs me to respond to. And so I pause, and I don't have a visual cue on the on the screen whether I'm paused or not. And so there are some things that kind of like that noise right there. So there's some things that got recorded that you should never have seen, and blah 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 blah. So, um, I will make up another game for that. But there will be a doubleheader. We have two doubleheaders coming up. I got to tape the first two. The first things will be taped on this computer, as far as the replays are concerned, are, uh, is a doubleheader between the, uh, the Washington National Senators and the Red Sox for Memorial Day 1946, which will go up on a Tuesday and a Saturday. And then in the 64 replay, um, I will be taping um, a doubleheader that will go up for Wednesday night baseball between St. Louis and San Francisco from San Francisco. So you actually will get an honest to god doubleheader if they play two on that date. You get both the games. We're not gonna, we're not gonna be cheap about it. It's only hard drive space, and so that will be good. But I'm very impressed with the visuals from what I'm seeing with this new recording system. The software I'm using to record didn't change. I think I mentioned it a couple minutes ago. It was X Split is what I'm using, and that's what I use for um, to put together the interviews for the for whenever my good friend and partner Ricky Keeler do does interviews for um, for the Dodcast on another channel um, for District on Deck, which is my day job. Uh, what else? Okay, I wanted to ask you. Also, put this out there for the football. So you've got the tell me what you would like to see for the baseball tournament. Or baseball idea with all these extra players. I could set up a best of league. We could do an all star league. We could do a, a heroes league. We could, we can do it a number of different. We could do a tournament with the decades. Um, or we could do a franchise thing. However you want to do it is up to you. Okay, but but let me know in the comments below what you would like to see. I don't for the because I really don't want to take requests for um, the baseball replays because there. Are in stock as replayed seasons. I'm not changing anything about those. So it's literally like you would turn on the television on a Wednesday night at 7 o'clock and watch, well, or a Saturday afternoon at 2, and you'd watch the game on NBC, or Wednesday night you'd watch the game on ABC. So those are pretty much set. But for these, and for the next thing I'm going to mention, I'll take you, I would be glad to take your request for. And if there's enough requests for specific baseball matchups, you never know. Um... There's three empty spots a week right now. I can get these out relatively quickly, depending on how busy I get once the season gets underway. All right. Now, for football, we will resume. Everything transferred over. All the data transferred over. All the pictures transferred over. It looks all fine to me. Um, but we will not be... We'll be restarting, I think, 1980 once my baseball season, my real-life baseball season ends. And what you'll get, or I might start in September or October. And so what you'll get is you'll get those massed in order. And so they will go, the regular season will go in a 16-week stretch. So there won't be any interruption um, with that, which is why. And it will also be with the new version of the game. It will be with the 2017 version of Action PC Football. But um, what do I have for football? I have a number of football seasons. I have the top 144 teams as well. If you give me a matchup that you want to see, there's no reason why I can't just can't drop one as a Sunday special or something like that. Um, I enjoy playing the football games. I know that some of you specifically, you know, were disappointed when that football se season ended. And you know, I don't want to disappoint anybody. I, I really enjoy doing this. It's just a matter of time and and all that. Um, because the football games take about two hours to do. you got to chunk them up into halves and and all that. And, but I do think, though, I haven't tried playing with a new... Re I haven't done a pilot yet So uh, with, with a new software. So go ahead in the comments below and let me know what you want to see for games. I think I have every season... Oh, I have every season, I think, from... 76 to 99 
uh, maybe even 75. I could look it up. Let me do that. You can look at the bald spot on my head. And my funky eyebrows. Um, I have 48, 52, 56, 58, 60 AFL, 63 NFL, 67 through 69 both leagues, 72, 74, and then the NFL from 75, 76 through 99, and then... Uh, 2011 through 2015, and a couple of college things, and a couple champions tournament thing, along with the uh, top 144, pre-70 and post-70. So I got... I know you were looking at my at big giant head for that. Um... So you got some pretty good choices there if you wanted to do some of those. Some of them are formation limited, but I think I can change that. So go ahead and request a football game if you'd like. And I'm not promising it'll be right away, but I will certainly will keep track of it. And they'll go out as I can do them. Now would be a better time to do them than before April. So, you'll pro so if you request a couple, um, they probably will be out sometime in March because I definitely want to try out the system with the with the sound and the background audio for the football isn't as bad as it is for the for the baseball. So then I guess we'll do it. Um, sorry that you had to look at me in my crazy multicolored eyebrows in 1080p, but it does work. And so we have the system that does work, and that's exactly what I was trying to do. Trying to do, and so. Um, once again, I'd like to thank you for everything that you guys say. It really is appreciated. I'm delighted that you're enjoying it. And so um, so let me know how what you would like to do what how what you would like to see for how the for this uh, blah, 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 the large uh, the baseball history project and some one off football games that you'd like to see done because you know I, I enjoy I enjoy doing that stuff for you. So 46 and 64 will continue, and as soon as I figure out how to get a good mix on the audio, we will get. I will do another pilot. I'll tell you the next pilot game that you will see for baseball will be the 20s against the 90s, because it was requested, and um, it was a pretty good game actually. You get to see Babe Ruth and Chipper Jones all, and Albert Bell. The 90s were pretty underrated. So anyway, so that'll be the next pilot game, but I gotta work on the sound configurations for that to make sure that that you're not overwhelmed by the 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 game crowd, and I am underwhelmed by my own voice, which is kind of hard anyway. All right, so thank you very much. Hit that like button and subscribe. And if you're a new if you're a new viewer to the channel, we do games four days a week. We're doing the 1946 Red Sox season, real life games that were played on Tuesdays and Fridays. That's what we're doing for that. And for the 64, the Pro Baseball 64 replay, we do a Wednesday night game, which goes up every Wednesday night, and a Saturday afternoon game, or Saturday game of the week, just like the ones that Vin and Joe used to call, except for they did it a lot better. Um, and that's a blast and a half. Uh, so check those videos out. And like I said, hit that like and subscribe. And for a football, some football one-offs, and what you'd like to see done with the uh, baseball historical project, let me know in the comments below, and we'll get some of that stuff out for you. I haven't got the golf game transferred over yet, um, but I did a pilot for that, and I was happy with how that came out as well. So thank you so much, as always. You can follow me, at Ron Juckett, on Twitter, and of course, uh, you know, like I said, hit like and subscribe. And until, until we meet again, I'll talk to you the next time.